All right, champions, highly requested video. A lot of you, my fans, my subscribers are asking to also give you the, the top three to five mistakes on the double-handed backhand, okay? And I'm gonna do exactly that. This is my experience, what I've seen with my players. This is the first and the most common problems. Number one, check out your grip, okay? The ideal grip, I'm gonna tell you straight away, is if when your left hand is on bevel number seven, all right? Bevel number seven, counting all the way from one through to seven, all right? And your right hand is on bevel number two. That's the ideal grip. It's also the grip that Djokovic uses. Okay, now the first mistake many players make is this left hand is actually on bevel four, which makes this wrist very weak. And then they start pulling the racket like this because there's no power behind the ball. There's no swing, okay? So I'll show you what, what it looks like. So the, so the problem with that is when the grip is on bevel four all the way over, you can see I'm weak. There's no power. And it's almost like a, a Western left-handed forehand. And then what players do is they feel that there's no power, so they end up pulling like this. All right, so by simply getting your grip right, palm behind, putting the knuckle. So remember when I say grip, that part of the knuckle all the way through to the palm needs to touch the bevel, remember that on both hands. So by putting it back on bevel number seven, all of a sudden this left hand is extremely strong and it can do most of the work and I can swing through the ball. Okay, Djokovic is a perfect, perfect example of using bevel number three and having the left hand do a lot of the work. Let's move on. Champions, you guessed right. Uh, Tip number two is also on the grip, but the problem this time is with the right hand. So instead of the right hand being on bevel two, which is perfect position for a good double-handed backhand, players sometimes slip to bevel number three. All right, so what happens is look at my wrist. It's too loose, and then that's when you see players end up doing this with their wrists. They're gonna try and scoop the ball, very dangerous. Not, not, not very comfortable to actually to brush the ball. So your backhand will end up looking like this. You can get lucky, but it's gonna be very slappy. You're gonna end up trying to pull it like this to compensate for the wrong right hand grip. By simply going back to number two, it all just molds together your contact point. The arms, the, the hands, everything is comfortable. Remember in tennis, if something feels comfortable, more often than not, that is right. Not always, but more often than not. So now you've got both grips in the right position. It's easier for you to go down the line and it's easier for you to go cross court. All right, last two tips for you, my champs. Remember, these are just the most common mistakes. I've got many videos on all the backhand tips and also comment below if you would like me to talk about the most common mistakes on the one-handed backhand. But moving on, so the next one is, I like to always teach my players that if you wanna have a good double-handed backhand, you wanna imagine you're hitting the ball with your left palm. If your left palm is going to your target, then you are on the right track. So your racket becomes one with your palm. If I wanna hit the ball to the forehand corner, I wanna have my palm go there, cross court have my palm. Problem is it blends into the previous tip. Many players start going wristy. All right, so now your left arm can't guide the ball. Your left hand should contact the ball. And then from there, it goes through and over. That's why you'll see Djokovic, the, the wrist never breaks this way. It goes over the ball that way. Okay, so look at my palm following the target. See this motion there? And then release at the end. Okay, again. Palm, palm going to the target, through, through, through. Then release. I don't break my wrist too soon because then anything can happen. Champions, lastly, before I give you the last tip, please do me a favor and press the like button, share with a friend, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll keep giving you free tips. The more you spread the word, the more that motivates me. All right, next, last one. Keep in mind, these are the common mistakes. This is, these are not all the mistakes players make. This one is very, very common. Double-handed backhand. Players step across and they are so stuck, okay? You cannot hit a... You, you cannot reach your full potential on your double-handed backhand if you're stuck because you can't swing. If you like close stance, close stance is fine, but step forward. How do you step forward? You step forward by going out and then in. Very, very common problem, okay? So instead of doing this, stuck on really swing, 
Can you get away with it? Yes, you can sometimes. But if you have, if you're in the right position, make very, very sure that you go out and then I can step forward to the ball. Okay? Out, step forward to the ball. So common mistake is stepping across. Fix it by simply getting behind the ball, out and in. I'll show you one more. In my opinion, those are the most common double-handed backhand mistakes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.